right. So we just went on a long road trip from South Central California to uh, the border of Oregon and Washington around the Hood River area and we scored this scout. I apologize for not filming that, but uh, yeah, just didn't work out. But here she is, 1963 to five, I don't know yet. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta look, um, but we're gonna see if we can get her running. It's been, the front license plate tag says 2001, the rear says 2014, so I think it's been sitting for about 20 years. It has had a hard life, but we're gonna see if we can revive it, man, bring it back, not restore it, just get it running, driving. We have some big plans for it, so let's, uh, before I get it off the trailer, let's, let's take a look around it. So this scout's pretty cool, man. I, di I dig these old ranch trucks. I love that original color. It's had a repaint, it's had lots of Bondo. It's got rust, but it exists. And it's got some cool features that, uh, I'll show you some of my favorite things about this scout. Number one, this rear bumper, super cool. It's like, I don't know, like a high-end farm fab. Tailgate is pretty sweet. I haven't even opened the back yet. Custom reverse lights matching. As you know, Scout 80s didn't have reverse lights, so to put them up there, pretty creative. Lots of silicone. The top is, it's got this custom drip rail, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, good, she's got doors. Roll up doors, they're probably hammered. We'll dig those out. It's got a PTO winch sitting in there. Definitely won't be using that. Custom lightweight headliner. It's got plywood on the rear floors with carpet. Some of the things that I like is it has a Dana 44 rear differential with a power lock. See that additional tag right there. Anytime you see this tag, it says the gear ratio, but this tag means it's got a, um, a power lock differential, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I'm just stoked it's got an offset 44. I've been looking for one of those. So kind of rusty but it's not rot like super rotten sorry dash is all intact look it's got the horn button that's rare turn signals that's why I say it's like a 63 to 65 it's got the line lock hydraulic micro brake I'll definitely be getting rid of that. Custom wood T-handle. Someone worked real hard at that. Um, massive bullet hole. Still has the rear view mirror. It's largely intact, man. I like that. It's got the wiper motors. Um, let's check out under the hood. Oh, let me show you this before we go there. I was like looking at it like, man, these shackles look funky. It's got like Scout 2 style sway bar with an extension right there. And I'm like, hmm. And I noticed these are Scout 2 U-bolt plates. What's funny is this is a Scout 2, like the passenger side, like the right side differential U-bolts. That's the left side spun around. And I'm like, oh, it's got Scout 2 leaf springs with this custom bracket so i don't know man i typically hate that kind of stuff but it's, i don't know also look it's got the original accelerator pedal bracket but there's no rods going to it so that tells me let me get this ratchet strap off and unlike the rear bumper that i think is actually cool this front bumper is just too much this probably weighs 80 pounds or more very farm fab very hacked together i kind of hate it when they're welded on so that's going to be a pain in the butt to cut off so I'll, I'll just cut it off here and then start cutting those off 
It's got like half inch of weld filled in there. I don't know. Let me get this hood open. Hood's in nice shape. And too, again, like it's too bad I love this original color. I might sand through it a little bit, bring some of that back, but it's even got the emblem, the grill emblem. Oh, also, if you notice, these are early model. It's an early model grill. It's original, but they put the late model headlight rings on, which is kind of interesting. I don't hate it, but I should, but I kind of don't. Uh, let me get this hood open. Okay, what I like is that this thing is very, very intact. So, yeah, look at the accelerator pedals, like, out of a late model 800 with the Mong Mongo throttle return spring. It does have an original fuel pump. I like that. The white vacuum wipers are still all wired in and hooked up correctly. Massive vacuum leak right there. I'll take a peek at that. But the carburetor is not frozen. Tiniest air cleaner in the world. It spins over, which is cool. So I think she's going to run. Um, the wiring is, you know, like it's, it's not butchered. So I've seen worse. This fuel filter, like the A120, and I think those came out in the late 90s, mid to late 90s. So we're going to try to fire this baby up. I don't have a key, unfortunately, but neither does this. still all hooked up so I'm guessing I could just put a screwdriver in there this might be like the ignition switch gauges are pretty nice so let's uh let's see if we I'm gonna roll it off the trailer and let's see if we can get this pup running also notice this with me if you notice this is odd you scout 80 experts out there like this is supposed to extend all the way over to here like this let me show you so this is a scout 800 but similarly this bottom heater plenum goes all the way over there but it's well done like and it's yeah i don't know man this dash has definitely been painted but i like this truck it's, it's really growing on me it does shift through the gears but I noticed when I was loading it on the trailer that even with the transfer case levers in gear and it's got both drive shafts, it rolled. So I don't know what's up with that. But it does have a custom gas pedal that actually feels better than a stock 80 gas pedal. Clutch is frozen. Brakes are not frozen. Oh, I'm guessing these are off the ignition switch. kind of cobbled but we'll see in the, I love this pinched wire in the spring right here classic a lot of because like 80s didn't really have a fuse block man so there's definitely some butchery going on but we'll see if we can't figure it out the dude I bought it from yeah the dude I bought it from didn't know anything about it he bought it like three years ago and um said I don't know he didn't try to he didn't just know anything about it I don't know what the story was so um, let's uh, get it off the trailer and get a battery and see if we can't spark it off I'll check fluids and stuff like that
got her just about unstrapped and I'm gonna show you my rig job solo technique. Uh, by the way, if you don't own any of these flex, uh, sorry, soft shackles, they are really amazing. You now you can use uh, clevis mounts, but they are clevises, but these are a lot safer. They're super strong and they are just so handy. So I'm just gonna essentially use this as a friction slowing down device as I push the truck off. Because again, I, I don't know if the transmission works and I don't, I don't know if the brakes work. And I don't wanna hit my precious red carpet tub over here. So this is another scout that I'm building for a big activity in next June. This thing's cherry though. And I know it appears to be, uh, was it red? Was it blue? Was it white? I think this is a red carpet special. That's what all the uh, indicators tell me from it and the parts that came with it. But not to get distracted. But let me show you just while we're doing a video. Another cool scout that I just purchased. Got this out from Western Wyoming. This is actually a red carpet special. I think uh, around 3,000 of them were made. This one's all together as well. Um, we'll try to, we'll do a separate video on this, trying to get it running. We are currently working on that truck too, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, let's uh, lower this thing off, see if we don't kill ourselves. <laughs> So slap the battery in here. I, let's check the oil. It's, it's weird, dude. It's like perfectly full. It's very black, but it looks good enough to toke her off. Yeah, I can't figure out the ignition system, so we'll see about that. No way. Look at this. Perfectly green and clean. That's amazing. I mean, who knows? Maybe it was started because look at the condition of that. That's mint condition. All right, let's try to hook up the battery. See what happens. I might just vice grip this. I don't think I have a battery terminal. Maybe I do. Let me go check. These Scout 80s, I don't know. Just trying to look at some of the wiring. It's got some aftermar aftermarket, what, this like relay that seems to be going to the alternator. Oh, because it's got a externally regulated alternator conversion no an internally regulated or no better yet it's got a unexcited like a one wire alternator who knows if that works <clears throat> i just got to try to figure out how to get voltage to everything let me get a battery terminal 
Check this out. Dude, I found this in my random assortment of parts. Gold-plated nugget. Never know, man. I probably found this in the back of some scout somewhere. That's why you gotta save stuff. Should probably clean these wires. But that would be no too easy. Make too much sense. So when you buy a vehicle like this, I know like a lot of times revival videos, like they'll drive them and stuff, but I feel like it's mostly either A for just like, will it start? And that's valuable. But this particular truck is going to get driven on a very long journey. And I want it to be kind of become a, a truck that my eye or someone can just have it look all rugged, but, but drive it around a certain living in it again so but what that means it means that it's going to require a lot of work this engine i believe was rebuilt in Let's try to fiddle around under the dash and see if we can't get something to click. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure it's in neutral. Let's just try the easiest technique, which is stick this in to the ignition switch. Nothing. I'm getting a clicking. I don't see any kind of push button. That's the horn. Horn works, miracle. Let me see if the headlights work. Nope. Nope. So now we got power to some stuff because the Okay, so I've been horsing around. I, got, I figured out the horn works. The headlights work on a random switch. I can't get the mo. I got the points to get power, but I cannot get the starter to crank. So I'm gonna hook up the remote starter switch and Do go for it that way. Starters are kind of tight on these scouts. The exhaust is about to fall off, so it's got a massive Okay, let's check it out. Okay. Let me check power at the coil. I got power at the coil. I have no idea if I'm getting spark, but let's just go for the really easy, lazy way. and just crank it over, get a little brake clean, see what happens. Okay, just because it'll be amazing if it actually runs. I'm like, I'm guaranteed the points are dirty. 
But no mice have eaten anything. Well, let's see what happens. lost my screwdriver don't ask me how oh here it is I just got to be ready to shut off the ignition I wish my my remote starter switch is too short to I can reach over get some down the yap I'm going to clean the points. I just turned the key off. And it is, the key's working. Um, all right, let me get some sandpaper and I'll show you how to clean the points. So to file these points, essentially, Try to get a better close up. Let me get a Phillips. Okay, so now I'm going to take, and everything looks pretty good. And I apologize for the bad camera angle. It's just hard to hold. I can't do this with one hand. Points are pretty sweet though. So I'm just taking the, the sandpaper. This is 220. Okay, now I got them in between the contacts. Just filing back and forth. Hit them with a little brake clean. Okay, so here's the, this is like an Adelco style distributor, which is kind of nice, has this little window you actually can adjust the points on that big screw right there through that window, which is kind of convenient. So the points contacts are right there. And let's bump the motor. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, energize the ignition by turning the key to the on position. Custom ignition. Hold on, let me, I can't do this with one hand, sorry. All right, and now just to be sure, I'm going to put my test light on so we know we have power at the coil. Then if we take our screwdriver
we've got a little spark. So let me uh, put this back together and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're still recording. Sorry about that. I was getting. Yeah, because we got power, barely, so it should be. Let me pull the plug out and see if we're getting spark. I'm just not getting spark. Okay. I made a jumper wire to get a full 12 volts at the... Ooh. Okay. Kind of like that. That's good news. Let me see if I fill the, if I can fill the float bowl. I'm gonna shut this off. Uh, let me check something. Okay, hold on, let me. Just check this. Owen's changing the. I'm trying to change the radiator. The A120, and, and no one makes a radiator for it. Um, all right. Let's get some fuel in that float bowl. All right. So I put way too much gas in carburetor and the carburetor is leaking out of every orifice essentially all right here we go I know we got a couple vacuum leaks. Let me get a couple vacuum caps in. All right, I got a couple vacuum caps. Let's see what happens. Woo. Dude, the motor sounds awesome. It's got 45 pounds of oil pressure. Dude, I'm stoked.
again, it had coolant and it has good oil pressure. It's hovering right around 50 pounds, which is incredible. It's running with the I'm just maintaining fuel pressure with uh, the bulb here on my hand, this thing. So I'm bypassing the pump. And I knew it had an exhaust leak, but it, the motor sounds pretty darn good. I know I don't have a clutch, so I think the next thing I'll do is I'll fix the clutch. Pretty awesome. I mean, at least I know the motor runs and it's got oil pressure. So that tells me a lot about the ways I want to potentially invest in this Scout. Uh, it was really weak. All right, I think I'm gonna, gonna chill for a second. I'm gonna, so now I think what I'm gonna do is get the fuel system working correctly so that, get the fuel system working correctly. Then the ignition, see, it doesn't seem like all the cylinders are firing. So I think I might just go ahead and, I really like Pertronics, so I might just put a Pertronics in it um, and, that, and then and do a cap rotor plugs and wires now that we know it runs and I'll change the oil um, so yeah cool it's pretty awesome I'll start a I saw this right
Thanks for watching. That was a quick video, but I'm pretty stoked. I can't believe it drove, dude. That's awesome. The brakes like wanted to work, but I feel like I just need to bleed them and it doesn't roll very well. So I got a big punch list. Stay tuned. We'll keep cranking on this thing. And I'm super stoked, man. Cause it could, uh, there's something funky about the exhaust, but like, I don't know, it could be the motor, but temperature gauge came up, oil pressure came up. We've got a lot to do. We'll keep going. Thanks for joining. If you like these videos, subscribe, leave a comment, tell us about your Scout 80 stories. And we'll see you next time.